Hi, it's Sandy, and um, today's video is about filling this palette that I got. I got it from my local store up the block. I said before, is uh, about an eighth of a mile up the block, so it's real easy to get to. And I was over there yesterday, or the day before, no, yesterday, and I saw this, and if you've been watching any of my other videos, this is the travel palette that I've been putting together, I've been making up and using in most of my urban sketching. But it is made up of just a mishmash of everything. I have so many colors in here and I'm not using them all. I'm using a lot of them, but not all of them. So I'm trying to decide what colors I want to take with me to Portugal. I'll be leaving in a few weeks to do that. So I am putting that aside and um, I pulled out my tubes and hopefully they're all showing up. And my problem is, is there are too many colors and I want to take all of these colors with me and I've narrowed it down to 13. However, this palette only holds 12. Um, so it's by Van Gogh. It was $9.95. I don't know if that's a good price. I just, I was so frustrated. I walked over from the tire store. I needed two new tires and I was so frustrated at the fact that I needed two new tires after getting a flat that I did a little retail therapy and it spent more money and uh, I felt like I would needed this thing. So um, anyway, it's Van by Van Gogh and it's the um, empty pocket box. It's plastic, which I, you know, I'm not completely in love with, but I wanted to try to get some of this, these paints out of the tube into the palette. So I have been working on colors that I think I can't live without. I've been taking into consideration what I'm using now, what's close, and also some of the issues about the drying. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about uh, the M. Grams not completely drying. I actually haven't had a problem with the ones I've had in here. I have the Gamboge in here and something else I thought. But anyway, um, maybe the Pyro Red. And they are well, fairly dry. So as long as I'm not, I mean, it's a little bit wet, I, but this brush is wet. As long as I'm not in a super wet climate, I, I think I'll be okay. I don't think Portugal's supposed to be incredibly um, humid. It's not here. So I've had all these colors and I can't narrow them down. It's making me a little crazy. I have uh, been trying out which colors I must take with me and which I'm taking just for fun. And definitely um, I can't seem to let go of any of the yellows. I can't seem to let go of any of the blues, which really limits my red. This Azo Green, this is the Azo Green by M. Graham, and it blends so well. It blends with the, um, oh, I call it Ant Blue, the Anthroquinone Blue. Uh, oh, it just makes such nice greens, and so, but I also want to take Sap Green because that's nice and convenient, and the Appetite because I love the separation that I get on that. So um, anyway, that's what I'm working on now. And I've been trying out my colors and trying out some mixing to see what I'm gonna take. And this, interestingly, comes with this little, um, it says a number six, it's Van Gogh, Van Gogh. I don't know, I can never pronounce that. Um, but it's, it comes with a little travel brush, which is kind of nice. With and my CAD yellow, I'm going to mix some lunar blue and see, did I already do that? Nope. All right, so I get a little CAD, a little lunar blue. I just love that color. And let's see what happens. This is the CAD with the lunar blue. So it's quite a dark green, which sometimes is very necessary. It doesn't... Um, the same as that. Okay, that's pretty nice. I think I need to have both of those with me. I keep thinking the lunar blue is an indulgence I don't need, but I just, I, I don't know, as usual, I can't say enough about it. I love it so much. So, that's coming. 
Oh my goodness, what am I gonna leave out? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I, and I feel like I need another red because I'm only taking Opera Rose and um, Perlin Green. I mean, <laughs> Perlin Green, Perlin Red. I feel like I need another red. Ah, why isn't this a 14 piece set? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna fill it up and then make myself a little swatch card. Oh, I was gonna try something with this brush. So let's see, we'll get that color and make a little, you know, as a travel brush, I mean, I'm going to bring my Sakura water brush because that is um, definitely of my water brushes, the one I like the most. And I'm going to bring that, but this little travel brush fits right in and I think I will bring that as well. And so let's see, what do we have here? So that's, I wanna make sure I can make a nice black. I wanna make some browns. I'm gonna mix this with a little azo green. All right, I haven't really come to any decisions on that. Uh, I made these swatches and I have those videos and you've, you've probably seen those, but uh, I, I'm not sure they helped because <laughs> it's just, I I'm, I'm feel that I'm being greedy, I know. But I, I don't know. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and fill this on camera and speed this up. And we'll take a look at the results when I'm done. Okay, so I've got it almost filled. I'm not so worried about everything being perfectly level or anything like that because, you know, I want it, I think I want it to look beautiful, but let's face it, as soon as I begin using it, it's going to get all mucked up anyway. So my, I'm hesitating on filling the Opera Rose and the um, Manganese Blue Hue, even though together these make a, beautiful purple and I really like both of them but this opera rose is so light here's the opera rose it's so light so I br I got out my red swatch and I'm thinking that maybe the quinacridone rose might be a little better because it is not quite so light I just can't imagine if I'm out sketching how much of that pink I'll use However, I've mixed the pink with the um, ant blue, and I've mixed it with the lunar blue. Cool, very nice gray, kind of a deep indigo, which I'm not bringing an indigo because those are in pans, and this little setup doesn't, I don't think it takes a pan. Please don't tell me it takes a pan, and that I'm supposed to just put a pan in, because that would make me feel really stupid right now. I'm so glad I'm doing this on camera. Oh, no, I could put my own pans in. Oh, moron. <laughs> oh, man. Um, whatever, I don't have pants. I mean, I have pants, but... Well, now I gotta get another one. I need to get a better income. Um, okay, yeah, so that didn't solve my problem. So, Opera Rose versus Quinacridone Rose. I think I'm gonna experiment a little bit more Maybe turn this off and play. Uh, I'm kind of confused because I thought I was supposed to just stick my colors in there. Pick your own. Ah. Well, I don't know. Actually, that might... Maybe I'll stick the pans in of the two that I use. I have a manganese blue already in here. Look at that. Solving problems right on camera. Oh, you know that saying, you're not the sharpest tool in the shed? Sometimes that applies. No, that doesn't fit. Okay, okay, I don't feel so bad. Um, yeah, these are the, the little pans I get at my art supply store, and that doesn't really fit. Maybe if I squished it down. No, nope, no, nope. okay, I'm not as crazy as I think. Ay, I tell ya. Just to step inside my brain for, <laughs> for a day not where anybody wants to be okay so quinacridone rose 
or opera rose. Oh, maybe I should mix it and just have fun since I can do whatever I want because there are no rules. I mean, there are some rules with watercolor, but in this case, no. I don't know. Do you really want to see me struggle with this on camera? No, you probably don't. So I'm going to play and I might, I'll edit this part out unless I say something profound <laughs> and then I'll put it in. Ooh, what happens if I put both of these into e next to each other? Yeah, they're pretty close actually. All right. Ooh, I might have to put the opera rose aside. I only have a small tube of that anyway and put the quin quinacridone rose in instead. And then I'm kind of lo in love with that manganese. And then I'm I like this. I think it's gonna make me happy. I, um, I don't know these colors. Oof. I get so excited about the colors. I'm guessing anybody who does watercolor feels the same way. It just, they make me so happy. What, I mean, look at that manganese. Ooh. Anyway, such a dork. Okay, I am going to wrap this up. And I, like I said, I am traveling to Portugal, so I won't be uh, posting any video. I'm going to try to take some video while I'm in Portugal. I put my little um, number six round back in there and I am uh, kind of digging this. I'm going to let this dry for a few days and I don't know, then I'll give it a shot um, and try it out with my Urban Sketchbook and see if it is indeed something I want to travel with or do I just want to go back to the old one which I know works right. but thanks for watching